The Matrix sucks. When The Matrix first came out, I was in no rush to watch it. I avoided watching it for about a year, I think. Reason being that I thought the idea was not very original. Everybody's thought, I can't think of any story that's done it necessarily, but I'm sure there's tons. Everybody's thought about a world within a world, and it just seemed like such a cheap idea. When I saw it, these were my first reactions. I thought that the movie would be about what he does when he gets out of the Matrix, but I was surprised that the whole movie took place in the Matrix, pretty much. I thought the dialogue was awful. I found it sickening how cool everybody was with their sunglasses. Really, really two-dimensional, even for two-dimensional characters. The sunglasses and the trench coats and the shooting with the funky music was just cringeworthy. And the, the martial arts scenes, cringeworthy. There's two cringeworthy scenes that stand out for me. The first one is when uh, Neo is fighting Morpheus and the funky mu music comes on showing how cool everything is. And that little guy, uh, I don't know what his name is, like Mouse or something, he, he goes, this is gonna be cool or something like that. And I'm thinking, well, thank you. Thank you for telling the audience that they should think that this is cool. Thank you for telling me how I should feel. There was a scene like that in Superman 2 where uh, Superman's fighting Zod and, uh, and his friends... And some guy goes, this is going to be exciting or something. And it's just so cheap. But at least Superman 2 was a great movie aside from that little part. And that wasn't like... The way they did in The Matrix was just way too over the top. This is going to be funky, guys. This is going to be cool. Morpheus. I know Kung Fu. And I'm thinking, like, the Matrix is to emo as blank is to goth. I don't think there's been a great goth movie. But the Matrix is not goth. That's emo. That's wannabe shit. And when that movie came out, that was around the time that the trench coat mafia thing happened, where a, a couple of stupid teenagers wore trench coats and started killing everybody in the school. I'm like, yeah, well, if I watched The Matrix, and I was a fucking stupid 14-year-old, I might think it was cool to go around shooting everybody wearing a trench coat. The way they glamorized mass murder, like, I'm sorry, I know it's a movie, but, you know, I, I do believe movies have responsibilities. Um, the way they glamorized it, it made me sick at the time, watching it. Like, look how cool it is. And, and they're killing, they're not killing... They're killing people. Uh, everybody that's plugged in the Matrix is a person, and when they get killed, they actually die. So they're going around mass murdering. Yeah, I know it's a movie, but still. The only good thing I can say about that, the only good thing that came out of that movie was, uh, what's his name, Hugo Weaving. My friend made a really good point. He's like, that guy was so good that he turned a small part into, like, he became, like, the main villain in all three movies. That's how good he was. Because he wasn't a main character in the first one. And I heard that that retard prince, I read an article where that retard, that, that stupid uh, composer, musician uh, prince was saying that uh, he loved the movie and he would like liken life to a Matrix. And I'm like, are you that stupid? You never thought of this shit before? Like you had to watch this movie to even like open your mind to this idea? Like this is an old idea. I was so disappointed with The Matrix that when they made the sequel, Reloaded, Reloaded, I was actually like, wow, that's kind of cool. Like, wow, they finally, they did something with it. That was pretty good. And then the third one, I'm like, that was even better. They, they at least they did something. Um, and so my order of f favorites for, the, for these movies, I like the third one the most, Revolutions, and then I like Reloaded. And the least of, of the three is, is Matrix. Mm, regarding the Wachowskis uh, movies, I, I saw the movie before they even made The Matrix. It was called Bound, starring, I think, Gina Gershon and someone else. And it was a fun little movie. That was the movie they made before The Matrix. And then after that, they made um, V for Vendetta, which was incredible. Love that. Uh, of course, it's all due to Alan Moore, but it was still very well done. Hugo Weaving plays uh, V. And... Um, and then they did... 
Oh, the other actress in that movie, Bound, was Jennifer Tilly. And then after that, I think they did Speed Racer, which a reviewer said was like watching somebody puke Skittles for two hours. And that is pretty much, it was, it was pretty, it's, you see, the Wachowskis, they're always ambitious, but they reach too far and they don't cross their T's and dot their I's. Then they did Cloud Atlas, which I think I watched once. It was just overly long and it was, again, overly ambitious. And one of the directors, they, they used another director named Tom Tiquer, who's done one of the best movies I've ever seen called Perfume, The Story of a Murderer. That's the book that, uh, sorry, it was based on a book that um, Kurt Cobain was reading when he killed himself. And it's an incredible book. But that movie was just like, this is too much. And like, what are you doing? So after that, they were almost done using up the good graces they had built with the Matrix. And then they made that um, Jupiter Ascending, which apparently it's about a girl who falls in love with a dog. So it's it's basically like uh, the shape of water, but in space. <laughs> you know, it's really nice to see people like the Wachowskis who are willing to take chances and make innovative movies. But The Matrix was not innovative, and it was not good, and they should be paying more attention to writing better. Writing comes first. I don't even... Like, I'm kind of ashamed to even make this video, because The Matrix was such a stupid movie. I mean, I might almost say skip the first one, and just watch the second one, where you get to see a million Agent Smiths. That was cool. Um, the third one, you know, where you get to see... Um, I don't know, at least you get to like get some finality, some kind of point. If you like gays, click like. If you like blacks, comment. If you like women, click notification bell. If you like gay women, subscribe. And if you like gay black women, uh, Patreon, Human Warnings.